we're shaking it up a little bit this week with a Reviews Day Tuesday of some Turbo Dork paint. Shake well before use. Here we're getting kicked off with the first Reviews Day Tuesday, and this is a product that I've used for about a year now, and I've really loved it. So I wanted to go ahead, give a little bit more of a review on it, something that went a little bit more in depth, and try a couple things out with it that I haven't tried yet before. So here, this is kind of like the control model. Solid black base, three to five thin coats of Turbo Dork uh, color shifting metallics. This first one we're using, Laser Face. I'm gonna slap that on the blades. And I haven't used this one before. This was a new uh, color for me. And I really, really did like it. So one thing you'll notice is every now and then it'll pop up in here where it kind of like clumps up. It has like this froth almost texture. That's when there's not enough room to pull it out and drag it across when you're doing a real small area and you just get a little bit too much on there. So this is pretty tricky uh, at times and you just got to kind of practice with it and get used to the flow. Now I'm switching over to Two Cents. This is a fantastic color. It doesn't really shift too much with any other colors, but it's really bright, really vibrant. And for something like a spell effect for uh, AOS, it is fantastic. Again, this one here is just the control. Uh, we're going to get into a couple more here where the basing is going to be a little bit different and see how it holds up with that and see what type of effects that we get. And the last thing I'm going to do is take some black ice and I'm going to do all the smoke with that. Uh, the black ice is really nice. Uh, I've used it to help out with some armor on like some vampires and some darker themed things just to do a really quick coat that you're doing and here you can already see that like shine and transition on that just from the very first coat going on. Now we're coming over to the Emerald Life Swarm. What I did here is I dry brushed a white over the skull and then I just painted white over all the wings of the, the dragonflies coming off the skull. How do I feel about the twin suns over the dry brush skull? I'm pretty indifferent on it. I think it's got some pretty neat features to it, but overall, I think it just works better over a black. Now, as we come over this, I put many coats on this at the end. I really, really was not liking it. I thought this was a total failure. I wasn't going to repaint it. However, when we get to the end, I did about five coats on this one minimum, and actually I liked it. Uh, you'll see when we do the end shots, it has a translucent look to it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I think it added enough difference to it that it really brought out that transitioning. Last one we're going to work on here is Ravenax Gnashing Jaw. So this was with a blue overbrush using ultramarine blue and we're starting off with red rum one of my favorite colors that i've used it has saved me on countless blood nights saved me far too many hours of edge highlighting to where i just did a coat of this and it worked out great this is a totally different look for it when you overbrush the blue under it this pops like crazy that my blood nights did not look like this at all i really dig it it works out great for a spell effect would it work out great for an armor Maybe. Uh, it wouldn't work out great, in my opinion, for Blood Knight armor like this, but for the spell effect, it works fantastic. So I think this goes to prove that as long as it's a color that works well with one of the transitioning ones that you're using, it's, it's going to come out fantastic. Now you use a yellow, it might fall flat. If you use purple, you'll probably come out pretty darn nice. Here, we're just going to finish it up, make sure all the teeth are done. And we're going to shift and blend this one into more colors. And this one is Prism Power. Prism Power looks like it's primarily a pink. So when you pick up the bottle, the paint itself is pink. And it shows that it transitions into a blue. My complaint about it is that it paints primarily as a blue. There's a lot of pink in there. You can't deny that. And it's a fantastic color. And it looks great with that blue overbrushing underneath it. But I thought this was going to be more of a pinkish color, uh, which I don't even know why I bought it because I had zero application for it, but I'm not regretting it because it looks great. I did try to blend it a little bit with the red rum, and it, it did start to blend a little bit, but there was still a very stark contrast at the end. Uh, I enjoyed it. And here we're going to come to the last one, Ice to Never. 
I do love this color and I think the blue over brushing was kind of lost on this one I don't think it did it any favors it definitely didn't do it any harm this blended extremely well with prism power and it was a very nice natural transition from one to the other now no I am not painting the inside of the spell effect because I don't want to lose my GD mind uh, that was a struggle enough just to prime the whole thing and make sure you didn't have these glaring red spots from the model itself and that's about it here's the last finish overview of all of them i do think that the emerald life swarm kind of came out the least my least favorite ravnax gnashing jaw fantastic the quicksilver swords fantastic that wraps up the first review stay tuesday i do want to preface one more time that turbo dork under no circumstances circumstances has ever said to do any of the stuff that i did today so each one of their bottles says specifically on the back of it that you are to base it with a black shake well until your arm falls off and put on three to five coats so doing the dry brushing the over brushing and over the white not recommended this was to see how, what kind of effect it would have and how it would come out overall i'm pretty happy with how it came out and i think this opens the door to test that with more how does it work with washes how does it work with oil washes and how does it work with more colors like maybe a solid prime of blue and then using the red rum over top these would be pretty cool things to try out in the future so if anybody tries anything else out with them share away give your experiences uh, and link any of your stuff that you have to it too It'd be fantastic to see. Hey, <laughs> Abu